What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Um, first time I'm posting something in a little bit. Um, I'm officially back from my L.A. San Diego trip. It was a fun trip. I uh, hope to get started on editing the vlog. All I have all the footage and pictures. Just got to transfer it to my computer, put it in the editing system, and just form it into a video. Uh, I have tons of pictures. Not all of them are going to end up in the vlog, but I have a bunch that will end up in the vlog. Uh, some not going to be in the vlog. <laughs> some I even have printed. Um, but I wanted to give that update. Uh, but this is going to be, obviously, vlog update. Um... I'm going to do, I also have news for uh, this coming weekend with the NFL Divisional Round. I'm going to give my general wild card round week recap, uh, just like general, my uh, um, my uh, review, like my, I guess, takeaways from the games um, between Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And then I'm going to give Divisional Round predictions. Um, so let's get right into it. Before we get into uh, NFL uh, stuff, there's the one thing from the Dodger Stadium tour that I do want to show. Uh, that won't end up in the vlog, but they basically, with the Dodger Stadium tour, they also have this like camera person who like will show up sporadically throughout the tour, and they take a picture of you right at the beginning of where you start. And then down on the field, because you get to go on the field, even though uh, when I was there, they had a high school batting practice. So this is the pictures. Uh, this bomb one you see right here is from me, uh, right where the tour starts at the top of the stadium. And this part is from me on the field, which funny enough, I, and I I don't know if I said this in the vlog or not. I hit the, There was actually Dodger shorts stop slash infielder uh gavin lux was actually there for a practice uh he was uh, we were already up in the broadcast booth so we didn't get to like go say hi or take pictures but it was like cool to still see him it was hard to like tell what eventually like i saw oh hey that's gavin lux uh he's pretty good enough he's pretty good um overall but yeah um but that tour was fun uh, the craziest part, and you can't fully see it with this bottom one, um, is that in Dodger Stadium, each viewing area has its own, each seat of each section has its own different color. And I thought, okay, it's probably, I don't, I didn't like much, think much about it, but it was like something cool. And then they tell you at the tour, which this caught my eye the most of all, the whole tour, is that each thing, each color for each uh, seat and section, it doesn't show all of them, I don't think, but it shows like most of them you can see between the pictures, is that they each represent something of L.A. Uh, one's like sun, one's beaches, one's clouds and sky. I think I might be forgetting a few, but that was still, like, that took me back, the fact that, like, it's not just there as, like, a design it's actually there's actually something behind it that was actually something cool to uh find out but that was uh those are some pictures that won't end up in the vlog but just thought i would show from uh dodger stadium tour um so i have news uh i had mentioned last episode that i was considering doing live play-by-play -play for a divisional round playoff game and i'm gonna do it this sunday uh, I'm going to be doing Bills Bengals Sunday uh, playoff game in the divisional round. Uh, we'll get to how we got to that, but I'm going to be covering that game. The game starts at 3 p.m. Eastern. I'm probably going to start give or take 2:45 just to give 2:50, just give like a little few minutes to spare before the games actually kick off. But we'll see what happens. Um, and that's pretty much all I wanted to say before I get into uh, takeaways from this weekend. Uh, and then divisional round playoff game predictions. Uh, predictions actually for divisional for wild card round. I actually got four, went four for two. I got two picks wrong. One badly, one not too badly. Okay, so general takeaways from this weekend. One, Brock Purdy uh, definitely did not look like he was a seventh, like a seventh round pick slash rookie 
of any type. I mean, I know San Fran struggled in the first half a bit, but he was dominant all game. He was very good all game. Uh, in, the, in their 41-23 win over the Seahawks at home. Seattle kept it close early, but San Francisco just pounded it out in the second half and never looked back. Uh, two, you can never assume a lead is firm even with four interceptions and a forced fumble. And yes, I'm referring to the Chargers-Jaguars game. The Chargers are up 27 nothing, coming off four picks off Trevor Lawrence. Four picks in the first half. Plus a, four, a f- muffed punt that literally put the Chargers in scoring position. I mean, they only got three points out of it. But it was just like 27 to nothing. Four picks and a forced fumble. And I did do an immediate reaction, by the way, uh, to that game. Go check it out on the YouTube channel. Uh, I don't have it on audio because it's just a YouTube short. But go check it out. Uh, you can find it on my channel. Uh, just click. You could find it on the channel. But anyways, I shut off the game. 27 nothing. I thought, okay, game over. Fat lady singing, cherries on top. Like, so on and so forth. I thought, game over. And the Jaguars came all the way back. The Chargers chargered. And I was, and I know, like, the Chargers can charger. But I was still thinking, like, how do you blow a lead when off four picks and a muffed punt? Well, that's how. Never assume a lead is ever safe. In that kind of case scenario. Uh... Let's see. Uh, three, Kirk Cousins still gets affected by primetime, prime light games. Uh, I mean, not like he was bad. He wasn't bad, but he made the mistake that basically ended the Vikings season. And yeah, Vikings defense does deserve blame also for the law. 31-24 loss to the Giants. Yes, the Giants beat the Vikings. But Kirk Cousins, on 4th and 8, for some reason... Decided, you know what, with not just the game on the line, but the season on the line, decided, you know what, nah, I'm not going to go for a long pass to convert. Let's try a check down, which was just like, what in the world are you doing? And it only got them like two or three yards way short of the first down. Like, what are you doing? It's literally the same thing that... uh Josh Dobbs did with the Titans against the Jaguars in week 18. Except, I don't even know what yardage difference is between the two, but literally the same play call. Just two different teams. I guess even four different teams, really, because all the teams are the same. But it was just like, what are you doing? But yeah, uh, Kirk Cousins still rough in primetime, prime light games. Uh, Another one. The Ravens were able to keep it close even without Lamar. I have to admit, Tyler Huntley did play pretty good. And Baltimore was able to fight all the way to the end with Cincinnati. And then the Bengals did win uh, as they were a bit too much for Baltimore. And then six. Apparently this is the year not to doubt the Dallas Cowboys. Everyone was doubting the Cowboys were going to be able to beat the Buccaneers. Coming off that embarrassing loss... Uh, to the Commanders, and they're like, no, we're about to show you who we are. And they shoved it to the Buccaneers. The score does not tell the story. Now, one thing the score doesn't tell you is their kicker missed four four of the five extra points he kicked. Wide left, wide right, maybe one hit off the goalpost, but they are pretty much wide, 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 wide. And it was just, like, hilarious. And admittedly, I wasn't even watching much of this game because this was when I was at the Lakers-Rockets game, uh, which that was a great game. I was at LeBron's 1400th career. I think it was 1400th career game or something like that. I took a picture, and I'll probably throw it in the vlog. Uh, but uh, I didn't watch much of the game because I, I was between dinner and at the Laker game. Uh, <clears throat> but, yeah. Four X of five. Uh, Buccaneers were just off sync against Dallas. And they were, it, were not able to connect. They made a little bit of a comeback. They were 31-14. They successfully got an onside kick. And there were apparently some Cowboy fans, I guess, that thought that, like, uh-oh. But, I mean, it's 31-14. I think it was, like, 50 seconds left or, like, not a lot of time. I was like... 
you're fine. I know it's Brady, but you're fine. 31-14. Like, that's still one, that's still a three-score game. In under, like, about if not under a minute. Like, that's not real. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But, either way, Dallas came out with a victory. Uh, now that I think about it, actually, I got three. I'm three and three. I went three and three this weekend, not four and two. Three and three. I got uh, Giants wrong, Giant Vikings wrong, the Chargers wrong, and the Buccaneers wrong. Uh, but that is the story for how wild my takeaways from Wild Card Weekend. Let me know your takeaways in the comment section below, and uh, let's move on to divisional round game predictions uh, with a schedule for it. And then, of course, I will be covering Bengals-Bills on Sunday. Game starts at 3. The game will be on CBS, by the way. Uh, I'll probably end up starting the stream a little bit before uh, 3 o'clock. Just to get things rolling already into when the, once the game starts. Um, but here are my predictions. So, number 4, Jaguars at number 1, Chiefs. Saturday at 4.30 p.m. I have the Chiefs winning this game. I think the Jaguars will give them a good fight for their money. But I don't, I just think Kansas City will be too much for them. Uh, Jack, Giants at the Eagles. 8.15 on Saturday on NBC on Fox. Uh, the first game was on NBC. The second game is on Fox, which is interesting. Um, I think the Giants, especially after the Vikings win, could give J Eagles a run for their money. But I think Phillies could be too much for them. They've swept them in the regular season series, and I think it's going to be a complete sweep, even including playoffs. I think Eagles will beat the Giants. Uh, Bengals, Bills, which I will be live streaming on Sunday, 3 p.m. on CBS. I think it's going to be a good game, a really good game, and it's going to and it's going to be like back and forth. I think we're going to be in for a good one. I have the Bills winning, but I I think this will be probably the closest game, if not one of the closer games. Of this weekend. And then at 6.30 on Sunday. The Cowboys. In, between the Cowboys and the 49ers. I think San Francisco is going to win that game. So that is my. Divisional round predictions. Uh, I will also keep track with my bracket. I made before the Super Bowl. Which is still relatively alive. Because the picks I did get wrong. Anyways were like. Teams I didn't have going that much further. Thankfully. Uh, but yeah. That's the story. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you are new, subscribe on YouTube. Subscribe. Leave a like. Hit the notification bell so you're notified when I go live and or post a video. If you are new on audio, follow the podcast. Leave a review. Hit the notification bell so you're notified when I go live and or post when I or sorry when I post on there. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on Sunday for the live stream. Otherwise, I'll see you uh, when. Next episode on Tuesday and or whenever I get to posting the vlog, which I hope to post it sooner than later. Bye.